COVID killed my grandfather and that changed my life. In March of 2021, in the peak of the pandemic, COVID took my grandfather just like it took the lives of many families' relatives. However, my grandfather also left behind a business, a business that neither I nor any of my family members for that matter knew how to run or even what the, fa what the company was. As far as I can remember, my grandfather had a few companies and I always knew it was something to do with transportation. Uh, I even got around to working for him when I was around 10 or 11 years old, washing his uh, vehicles, his buses, his semis. But I never truly knew um, what he what he did. And I truly never showed much interest, if I'm being real honest. And this proved to be a huge mistake once the company fell into our lap. Well, really it fell onto my grandmother's lap. My grandmother, although she is the most hardworking and admirable woman that I know, she, ever since she came to this country, uh, since she was very young, she's worked in cleaning houses. She couldn't and still can't really read, write, or speak English. She much less didn't know what to do with this company. She didn't know how to, uh, you know, claim it and put it under her name. She didn't know how to claim any of my grandfather's belongings. He didn't have a will. She didn't know what a probate was. Um, really, she didn't know anything and neither did I. And that's when I knew I had to step in. And you might ask yourself, why did it come down to me? Why was it me that who had to step up? and not anybody else in my family member, in my family, sorry. Well, that was because my parents weren't in the picture at this time of my life. Uh, they had a, a big of a fallout with the rest of the family and we weren't speaking to them, they weren't speaking to us. So although my mother was my grandmother's daughter, um, she wasn't going to inherit the company just because there was no way really we'd have contact with them. My older sibling uh, has her own business that she has to run and she had it up on her plate. My um, brother who's closer to, to my age uh, was in college so he also had enough on his plate. And I was just uh, maybe two years out from having dropped out of college after two semesters and um, had just freshly quit my job at Amazon. And well, it was, a, it was as good a time as ever, you can call it that. So <coughs> I really didn't know what this company was or what I was getting into, but I soon found out once I decided to take the reins over that it was a paratransit company and we were a company that served uh, persons with disability um, we take them from their homes to uh, their daily programs or uh, workshops and then we take them from their programs back to the homes my grandfather also had a logistics company but um, none of us had a CDL and all the drivers left uh, when they heard of his passing so really the logistics company we couldn't keep running it and so we shut that down he also had an auto repair shop that we had to shut down as well though I had some experience I wasn't really certified in anything. I only worked for my father's auto repair shop for two years uh, prior to all of this fallout. So really we were stuck just with the paratransit company, which was more than enough uh, on our plate in any case. Um, but we've made it work so hard, so, so, so far. With hard work and uh, we did receive lots of help also from my grandfather's ex-employees. Um, they greeted us with open arms and they showed us uh, what was expected of us, what's expected of them. They did their job with integrity and they did it honorably, even though they themselves were faced with uh, adversity at the time and insert uncertainty. Um, I'm finally able to start school again. Uh, thank God for that. 
because I do believe maybe I have a bit of a higher calling outside of this uh, company. I took over this company because I saw the hard work that my grandfather put into it ever since I was young. And I believe that his legacy had to go on. And that's why I decided to keep, um, keep it afloat. Not to mention all of, uh, well, my grandmother, although she did clean houses, um, it wasn't going to pay the bills and it wasn't going to pay for um, her home and her rent. And I also had to step up in that sense as well. And although we've been facing a lot of adversity, we finally learned the ropes. And and like any business owner will tell you, um, it's never going to run smoothly. No business ever runs smoothly. But uh, we're doing our, the best we can. And for now, we've served the community of San Gabriel Pomona for about two, two years almost. And hopefully many more to come.